All right, NASCAR Legends at Atlanta, and uh, well, I haven't done a lap, and I'm terrible at 1.5s to begin with, so it's gonna be a strategy race for the 12 car. That's good. Got the normal people, and uh, let's go. Nope. Not having that shit on. Uh, let's go try to get half a lap in here. At least get my force feedback and everything set right. You got the black flag. Two five. Oh, hit. Got to come in, push it up and go. All right, force feedback a little high. Can't shift. Sit up. Click higher, maybe. No. You got the black flag. You didn't exit the pit safely. They're gonna hold you for a while. This car gonna drive. Oh, it's loose. Okay. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. Definitely gonna use some qualifying practice. Start ahead of anyone if we put laps down. So only start ahead of people that don't qualify that have worse eye rating, and we're gonna get some practice in. Hmm. Feels like they actually gave us a set that wants to turn. could be a messy race. Now if you overdrive the corner then it pushes up. We'll see what happens in a few laps. I don't know. I don't know if we've had a set this loose in a while. That's good. That's how this car should be. Yep. There we go. Now it's pushing. So, you gotta be able to get it to rotate every lap and you'll be fine going quick. If you go slow, you're going to do that and push. You gotta get that rotation going earlier. How do we get the rotation earlier? Let's go that. I don't have all my stuff up. So, you can see what I'm doing, actually, and, well, that time I just got on the gas too hard. Alright, it's really tight on entry, and then snapping loose. I'm not driving entry correct. Keep on going, because I'm going to need all the laps I can get. That up at least that up that, that matters at the moment. Alright, let's try the horrible thing that worked at Michigan one time. See if that gets us the stability and rotation by dragging the brakes through the center of the corner. Kind of. I didn't do it good. Alright, it's at least causing rotation with the brake bias where it's at. 
if I go break bias to 50. So it's going to be a little bit about easing onto the throttle, as it should be. It's a little bit better of balance dragging that brake in. tight that time. Yeah, we're going to struggle. It's going to be a struggle for us. But that will happen and you don't practice and aren't good at this car anyways. So we'll be starting, it looks like, 19th. Okay. Oh, we got Mr. Strategy in here. One to go. Nick Mr. Combo. Strategy is starting behind in us. Inside. Pit road is closed right now. Clearly, he just wants to do whatever I do, since it always pays off. I know you guys have been missing. Mr. Strategy. So, we're going to go with 52 on the brake bias to start. I'm not too worried about this first half of the race, as usual. We're just going to use it as a bit of a tune-up for Charlotte on Friday. Although Charlotte's going to be an open race, so I'm going to have to put some effort into getting this car to do what I want. Because I have no idea what happens when you even start clicking this thing. Ten seconds and we'll get going. You have two additional sets of tires during this race. Have a good race. Hopefully Mr. Strategy just got that message. He doesn't uh, get mad that people change tires to go fast and win. Catch up, two, car. Catch up, 21, car. Catch up, nine, car. Uh, I should have refreshed paints. I think there's a few that aren't loaded, which is why we've got so many default Earnhardt and Elliot's. But we don't have time to do that, so... Just uh, stick with what we got. If we get an instant yellow, I'll do it under the next yellow and hope that it doesn't completely kill everything. Maybe everyone just doesn't have stamped paint schemes. But I'm seeing a lot more than... About to go green, stay focused. Eh, I guess there's only three. Yeah, we're fine. 
post car is off. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, green, green. Got someone, or was that me? I thought those tire marks were up ahead, but that was from my qualifying. Okay. Got a place to fall in line. Now let's not self spin. Figure this car out. Keep it from wearing the right front too much. And 3,500 strength field, hopefully. Oh, we just get some good racing. One in the wall. So easy to catch that wall on entry to three. I do wish we could get the old Atlanta be interesting, just because I really have nothing to go off of what it was like. The games back then obviously weren't detailed, and footage is kind of hard to tell. One day they'll have the ability to uh, kind of like photogrammetry, but take it all from video, piece it together, and kind of fake the finer details. I'm sure they can do that right now, but it's not like North Wilkesboro where they could actually go scan it and then fake the finer details or smooth out the bits of the track so it would be cool to get some older tracks that are long gone I would like to see a flat Vegas well not a flat but the lower bank Vegas or flat home homestead just be interesting but I know there's a lot of tracks that still out there that need to be scanned and we'll be constantly rescanning things. New Atlanta is going to suck. That's not going to be fun in any car, I don't think. I'm trying to let this guy get around the other guy and then we'll pass him. If he takes too long, I might have to Take advantage of it. Leaders aren't really pulling away. Everyone's kind of stuck together, oddly enough. That's not normal for this series, so I don't know if everyone's just taking their time. We got smoke up ahead. Back it off, not knowing what we're going into there. He was going to stay ahead of us, anyways. Nothing we can do right now. Got another car up ahead getting loose, so maybe it's good that I'm making the car tighter, but the fast people are going to be able to 
balance everything and fly away. Alright. Let's try to get a run. Try to get around these three ahead of us. Otherwise, we're going to start losing time. That guy gets loose again on the high side. He's eventually going to loop it. Ten's getting loose here. We're getting a little loose. Oh, Mr. Strategy tried the apron. That was not a good strategy. Can the 17 get around the 11 now? Let's get back out. It's not worth it right now. Everything's starting to get single file up ahead. People are pulling away now, so... Gotta think about getting around these guys. Go about 57 more laps. And that's fuel. I don't think tires, no matter what we do, are going to hold up that long. And that guy is trying to spin out some more. He's not going to have a right rear. up in the mid-pack. Mid Eleven got a little loose in the center of the corner. Like, I feel like we're way faster than all these guys, but just setting up a pass. I think I got a massive wiggle. I don't know if he got help or not, but it definitely jumped out on him. I have to watch out for him spinning here off the corner as he gets more loose. And if he spins, he's going to hook the 10. There's going to be nowhere for us to go. Almost did it. I don't want to be anywhere near this guy. He's going to either spin it or overcorrect and eat the wall. And I don't know if there's a good position to be at, other than ahead of him. And it looks like he's fighting for every inch, even though he's about to wreck. So he doesn't even understand that he's better off just falling back and cooling his tires. Alright. Let's get hooked by him. Please get around him. Please get around him. Alright, we survived.
and he overdrives the corner, and then he's going to put too much wheel in it, and that's why he's snapping. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Overdrive entry. Line. Tried to be patient Still with there, this guy. Figured he was going to give us a spot. Go catch up if he's uh, going to fight for this position this hard. Mr. Strategy. Now we gotta get around these guys and Blinky. And then it's gonna be about pit time. Decide which way is best to go. This top side looks like it's going to get jammed up. 21 is being very erratic off the corner. 11 gets loose, so we just got to go top side. Hope he backs out. And we'll pass him. And we'll continue to try to move forward, even though we've got this massive gap in the midfield now. After just, we just got trapped there. There wasn't a whole lot I could do other than force a lot of bad passes. And it wasn't worth it that early in the race. Start forcing stuff now. It's getting tight. I'm not getting it rotated enough, but I guess it's better than looking like the nine car. They're three wide up ahead too, so there's some people at the front falling off a bit. We'll try to keep it a little lower, maybe get the rear end to step out just a bit on exit, heat up that right rear, bring the car back to neutral. I guess I can go down a few clicks on the brake bias help us rotate in and uh, feel this out a bit. Third of the way through in a couple of laps here. So that's awesome. I figured with as loose as this thing could get, we'd be having caution after caution, but Luckily, the nine didn't spin every time. He just made a bit of smoke. And if you overdrive the center, then it gets tight on you. And I'm guessing that's what a lot of people are starting to experience that are falling backwards. And we will uh, soon not be catching people because we're going to get too tight. But only four spots out of where we're supposed to be. And we're driving the center just a bit. It's going to make a tight on exit here. There is people up ahead that are falling back to us. We've got 42 laps of fuel don't think you can save enough to make it all the way. I don't think 
two tires is the way to go. I mean, it could be if you got skill, but uh, I don't think we're going to have that skill. Although, you want a short pit stop, and we're going to be doing a short fuel, four gallons. So, maybe so. If we pit under green, we're taking two. If it's yellow, we're taking four. Looks like it's about to be yellow. Damn, those guys were on each other's doors. Uh, see how much we've fallen off. I mean, we haven't done fast laps. But just to make sure it's not another Nashville situation. Is 22 going to be too much of a chicken to make a pass? Nope. Alright. That is 15th. Got the viewer back there in 18th, starting to move up too. 22 forgot that he's on old tires. Way overdrives the corner. That's just going to heat him up, heat him up. But maybe he's planning on pitting in a few laps, so. is falling off hard. snapped on him, I guess. Of course, 13, falling back 100 miles an hour. Didn't just lift off. So we're going to go for this spot. Take advantage. He was just being really slow getting through this traffic when he's got a massive advantage on speed. So, I had to get around him. Alright, who is going to pit first? Or 
is someone going to blow a right front? Or a right rear? And there it is. Okay, we are going to take four tires. So we're in 10th, and we should restart 10th, unless I screw this up. Might be t people doing two tires, but I don't feel like it's going to pay off with the set being loose. Not loose, but looser than normal. Not a good entry. Stopped a little soon. Tires were thirty nine fifty one, so we were we were getting close on the uh, wear. Move it, move it. Definitely, some people taken to. You only have one set of tires remaining. Line up, single file. Catch up, four, car. Left sides were 72, 77. Um, so, not a lot of left rear wear compared to the left front. Two tires might be a little bit quicker, but... I don't trust myself to be able to drive it, so we got a good run going right now, sitting in probably 11th. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. So, ninth place. I don't know if anyone ahead of us did take two or not. So we're going to be around a few people that we don't know. But we should be ahead of those guys that we were stuck behind and there's not that many people behind us. Why is there only 15 cars? Guess because the 8 wrecked out. The 5 was slow as hell for some reason. Maybe he hit the wall. The 3 wrecked out. I thought maybe he just spun, but he's on pit road still. And the 13 is taking a wave around. One left to green. You're on the outside this time. Where's the 13 going to get away from around? Point four eight three. 13 may be end of, tail end of the longest line. So that's going to make some things very interesting. Five's coming up to the inside to try to get his lap back. He is one lap down. 13 and the three are still on the lead lap. So, this is going to be an interesting mess at the front. We'll have to get 
very uh, creative. If we gotta dodge some stuff. Might have to go to the apron, but it's definitely gonna help the five because he's gonna be able to blast past this leader, I would assume, unless, I guess the 13 was up front and That's lost great. pace late. I don't know. Be interesting. Be ready. We're about to find out. Green flag, green flag. Thought they were checking up. Oh well, gives us a gap. And the 13's in the wall. We're just gonna do kind of the same thing we did, but hopefully just a little faster. Try to look out for the tires, but not lose as much of a gap as we did when we were stuck behind the guys that are eight miles behind us now. on exit as I got low. Kind of uh, my throttle not being very smooth with that. Five is still a lap down. They are battling hard for a lucky dog. Fifteen hits the wall. goes way up track. And we got a little loose there. It's okay. We don't need to pass these people in front of us yet. We just need to keep the tires. Because right now we're ahead of where we're supposed to be. Looks like the 19 has speed, so I'm not too worried about him passing us. At the start, I was worried that we'd get stuck behind him and then be there forever. Let him go. Because I think these two lap cars are about to wreck anyways. Long ways to go still, 30 laps. Wide up ahead. We've at least got a lot of space. Nearly gets shoved into the wall on the outside through the dry oval. And we got a blinker on the bottom that's swaying left to right. A little looser. 
That was a good loose, so. While these guys all fight to get around each other, hopefully uh, they're burning up their tires and we just keep that speed that we had at the end. Another three wide move here. Three wide and blinking. This is just destroying their tires. I love it. Like at this rate, we could end up third. I think the five grabbed the wall maybe. Something happened there. There was a bit of smoke. Yeah, if this goes green, um, we have a good chance of getting third. Oddly enough, I do not see Mr. Strategy around anywhere, so... Guessing he picked the wrong one again. Thirteen getting loose. Ten trying to get under him. Working on trying to get to the 5. 10 pushes up into the 13. Nearly into the wall. 10 got really loose there. His right rear is going to be a little hotter. We already seen him almost wreck at the start of the uh, first run. Just watch out for it. missed it. So, 22 laps ago. Starting to see people spread out a bit, which is going to hopefully start the spread of, or start the uh, people losing pace that started happening a bit after everything got sorted out. 13 still trying to die. And apparently that was a pun. Didn't even see his name. Just gotta be patient here. You got two people racing for a lucky dog that should not even be in this series. And, uh... They're both way off the pace somehow, too, so... 13 into the wall, and... Luckily he slams on the brakes. Now the five should just get out of the way, because he's racing no one. So, we're going to go low. Keep low. Stay low. There was 
see only there. three wide. Okay. Still there. All right. Why are you racing us? So low. There's no need for it. You need the lucky dog. Luckily, he's slow as hell for some reason today. Outside is clear. There. Finally backs off. I think he finally got it. Maybe Reed yelled at him. Alright, ninth place. Third place is not going to happen, but we should be able to get a couple more spots if everyone starts falling off, as long as I don't start falling off. And it doesn't matter. The 13 right. So, lap down car. wasn't able to drive within his limits, was racing nothing, and ruined the race. We're going to take two tires, hopefully not die. Pete Road is now open. This has better brakes than the next-gen car. Okay, go! Okay. Looks like we got one spot there. 7680 on the right sides, 8688 on the left. Just gotta hope this thing doesn't want to kill me. But, uh, gonna be a short race, gonna be very intense, I assume. But everyone's been fairly good so far, so... Shouldn't have to worry about it, but... Never know what's gonna happen. lost a lot of spots, so I assume he did four. The 11's up to 10th. Viewers running 13th. Probably just staying clean back there. And, uh, Mr. Strategy is in 16th. As for lap down cars, the 13 is... Starting at the front again after 
causing a yellow. Hopefully he goes into the pits. He does. Good. One to go. Next time by. You're on the outside this time. One. Hopefully Minutes since he's on pit road it seven, won't let him eight, go five. up the inside when he comes out of pit road on his new tires. Because we don't need him up here. Eighth place right now. That would be a great finish. First time on two tires, so who knows what's going to happen. Go ahead and move the brake bias just a little bit forward. in the leader. The pace car is off. Be ready. Can't see the leader. Can't see the leader. Can't see the leader. We got the green. Ahead of us, we'll go on down to the bottom and 16 stops in the middle of the corner. He had to though, because if he pushed up three wide, it was going to be bad. Get run off the corner. tires aren't too bad. Feels pretty good. And a Denton wreck. The next car's the leader. 32.863 outside. 10 to go this time by. Still there, hold your line. So low. Don't think we're going to clear this guy. He's going to get the run. We'll fall in behind. back just a bit, get a little more rotation on corner entry. Try to high side turn down, that doesn't work. Bottom and hope that the four car eats the wall again and slows them all down up top. Big loose. Almost hit the wall. Well, the leaders slowed themselves down a bit. Outside is clear. 
Thank God the seven just put himself in the wall there. I heard him get loose, and I was shoving up, and we were going to get hooked. And luckily, he just turned it right into the corner. Work with the two to get around the six, I hope. to help him. On entry, and we are now fourth. Two more, let's go. Thirty-three point eight eight four. You're in fourth position. I think we could get around this too. Um, but I don't know where so he's holding the bottom line, and well, he got through that better. So, you know what? P4. I will take it. We'll see what the leaders do here to each other. I don't think the guy's going to have a run to throw it in on the bottom going to. Is there going to be contact? Nope. Alright. Fourth place. That was a bit unexpected, but we just got positioned right and people started to fall off. And yeah, it all works. Very, very lucky, but um, just kept the car clean, no incidents, and racking up those no incident races on paved. But uh, yeah, we get fourth, Mr. Strategy gets 14th, and our viewer gets 13th. It's a good job on beating Mr. Strategy. Let's go take a look at what all happened out there. start hitting the wall. Chad's gonna hit the wall. Just a baby scrape. Six is blinking. Eighteen's gonna hit the wall. That's not a good strategy. That's how you ended up on the apron. No, I would recommend not using that strategy next race. One blinks. 
five eats the wall. Just way overdrives it. That must be why he was so far off pace. Here's the nine trying to wreck 20 times. That time he hit the wall. But he was spinning all the other times. 21's gonna be blinking. And, well, Mr. Strategy just wrecked himself there. That was nothing the nine did. I thought the nine got him, but yeah, 18 pushes up three lanes, and the nine's trying to give him room, so... Again, not a good strategy there. Twenty-one's gonna blink. Five is off pace, and... I don't know why we saw that. And the nine is getting loose, and getting loose. Thirteen gonna hit the wall here. No. Here? Yes. Yeah, it turns out hitting the wall does not make the car faster for once. A little bump draft down the front stretch. Happens there. I'm gonna go to the big wrecks like when the eight just died. I don't know if this is it. I don't think so. I think he was out of four when he did that. It was so weird. It didn't make sense what I saw there, but. Teens in the wall. And the 17 is in the wall. And that is uh, the 11. Oh, cool. He was a viewer, too. Glad I didn't talk crap about him. Oops. Don't want to be yelling like I'm an old person on Facebook. All right, 17. Well, uh, he just got destroyed by Mr. Strategy, so... I guess that's one way to beat someone, so we'll count that as a good strategy. Three car. I don't know. Nothing there. Alright, here's the eight. He is... Oh, did he lose a right rear? I think he lost a right rear. I think the right rear blew. Or something. He lost something. Because that, that's not just loose. That's like a tire down. I'm going to guess that he lost right front or right rear. At least he doesn't bring out a caution. Seven and six racing for the lead, and neither of them will get the win. Let's just get to the caution. This is, uh... Well, this is the caution. So that gives him some damage. That takes the 14 out who was running up front who then finished behind us and we never saw him because of all that and then the three takes the cone with him into the pits 13 is going to hit the wall in front of the field three's in the wall again quits that so I was sort of right that he was on the lead lap and then he came back out 
15 hitting the wall again. Luckily we got around to that. Seven's in the wall. This is when the five's racing us all for no reason. 13 hits the wall again and Rex. Yeah, this guy was just terrible. Overdriving the car. Nearly took out the 11. Causes the yellow. And it's just been a weapon throughout the race. And the restart. Four in the wall. And then the six just wrecks the seven. Pushing up the track. Seven's holding his line. Six pushes up. Shoves him in the wall. Four's going to grab the wall here. This is when I turned down because I thought he was going to get stuck on it. Here's a seven. Is this when he got loose under us? No, not yet. This is it. Man, he could have killed me. Thank you, Victor, for just putting that in the wall. He would have just ruined our day. Six just drives into the wall and spins on entry. And then the whole field bunches up behind him as they're trying to get around him. And then he almost wrecks the 16 and he's self spinning. And well, I guess that's what happens when you take out the leader. At least some karma was paid there. The seven beat him. Yes, he did. He got sixth. So, all right, let's take a look at the results. And we got 68 I rating, 16 safety rating, and fourth. And we got fairly close to the best time. So, two tires kicked us into gear, and, uh, by then we had enough laps that we started figuring it out. So hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.